Hey, what's up, astronaut Shane here from Rocket Powered Zone. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Shane, what is that sexy shirt you're wearing? All right, chill out there for a sec. You can't get one, it's only for me. But you know what you can get? Uh, today's Friday, which means we just dropped the RPS Serum Wavetable Library. Yeah, that's right. We came out with a Serum Wavetable Library that will replace your factory wavetable library, or I should say upgrade. So you don't have to keep using the same old factory wavetables over and over, just like everyone else. Now you can get your own that are actually fire. So anyway, go ahead and click the link in the description down below if you want to check those out. Without further ado, speaking of other awesome stuff, let's take a look at the sound. Now this sound is recreated off of a res bass from a res song in the EDC mix from 2018. Okay, I don't remember what the song is called, so please comment down below what it is. I just recreated it from memory. Please let me know. All right, let's jump in. All right guys, so this is obviously a very fat bass, so we're gonna be using more than one oscillator. We're gonna be using the sub and the oscillator A. Okay, the oscillator A is gonna be like the primary movement and the sub's just gonna be adding in some sub. So let's go ahead and turn on the sub, of course, and just put it on direct out. That way it's not gonna be affected by any of the effects that we're gonna be putting it on. So anyways, um, of course we're gonna be going into the RPS wavetable library. Like we dropped it today. Why wouldn't I use it in a video to try and promote it, duh. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and go into the metallic section because as you see, we got bass, house, feature. We got all these different genres, right? Metallic, vowel, hybrid, ooh, all these crazy stuff. Anyway, we'll go to metallic and we'll grab the, um, the Chevy Square. Now guys, obviously you don't have to buy the pack to get this wavetable. You can go ahead and click the link in the description down below to get it for free. Just a singular wavetable I included for you. No strings attached. Just click the button and you're done. Anyway, let's just cycle through. All right, pretty interesting. It's like a phasing square. Okay, we'll go ahead and just put on our LFO one now onto the wave tool position. Now that we kind of get an understanding of how it forms. Ooh, nasty. So now is the fun part. We just go ahead and create our LFO one. And what I did is just create a little something, something like this. Shout out to the sound design team for putting together literally the best wavetables that I've used. I created the last wavetable pack, but my sound design team literally put together this one and it's amazing. So shout out to them. Uh, anyway, guys, we'll put this onto one half and we'll put this onto envelope. Because that's more like a res kind of shape, a res kind of flow that they would use or that she would use in a drop, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the filtering. Okay, Res is so good with using simple sounds effectively. That's one thing that she does so well, and I think we can all learn from. Um, like, they're nothing crazy if you listen to them. Instead, they're more or less sounds that are normally kind of simple, but instead she makes them sound so good with the flow she uses, as well as um, just the fattening with the post-processing and everything, right? So that's what we're gonna be trying to do today. What I Hopefully I can shed some light on some awesome tips for that. We'll just go ahead and drag our elephant one onto the cutoff here. Okay, <laughs> nothing crazy, but that's just about it for this whole oscillator pan. Pretty simple so far, right? Now we'll get right into the effect section here. And first effect on the list is the one Rez is like notorious for using, and that's the down sample. So now what we want to do here is just kind of find a right, the right tone because as we move through the different um, drive, you know, levels here, you see we got these different frequencies for uh, the down sample effect. I do like the one around 18, so we'll leave it there and we don't want the whole sound to be distorted. We just want that to be like an extra ambiance effect. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn on that mix. Now, compressor is gonna go on and multi-band, of course. Maybe turn down the high band a little bit. Okay, cool, cool. Now we'll just turn on a little bit of hyper slash dimension. No dimension, I mean, no hyper for me. And we'll just turn up the size to around two. And the mix, we'll leave it to around 29, 30%. All right, just to increase the fatness factor. All right, now we'll turn up the reverb, all right? We could literally just turn on the reverb and leave it like that. Although, if I was making a song, I wouldn't use a serum stock reverb. 
I would use an internal one in Logic or Ableton, whatever you're using, because most of the time the internal ones, you have the ability to load in like actual really, really cool reverb effects, okay? Besides just some generic reverb. Maybe put this back to one fourth. Yeah, it's better at one fourth. <laughs> but yeah, now it's a fun part where we can just kind of mess around. All right, and this is where Rez kind of gets a little bit crazy. She starts uh, switching around just a little bit tiny, uh, just tiny amounts of each parameter to create, you know, a little bit of a different sound each time something plays, right? Just, just to create a little bit more variation in the flows. Okay, so on top of this, guys, you can add on a chorus just to add in a little bit more fatness. And my, my fun little trick for the chorus is we just turn up the mix all the way. Turn up the, the filtering all the way if it's on low pass filter. And now we can just kind of mess around with the settings until we find a good, a good setup here. And this is good to run in the background here. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good how it is. And um, honestly, I'll call it a preset just like that. Um, now guys, you see how easy making really good sounds are when you have good wavetables? Yeah, that's the way it happens. So this is the sound so far, guys. I want you to go ahead and comment down below what you want for the next tutorial because sometimes I'm starting to get out of ideas, okay? I know I didn't offload for a month and part of that had to do with, okay, what the hell do you guys want? Because now I have such a big fan base. It's like, what on earth do you guys want? So make sure you guys comment down below and help me out. Help a brother out. Anyway, guys, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound, and I love you all. I'll catch you in the next video.